Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is David Karki. I'm an STSU Extension Agronomy Field Specialist based out of Watertown uh, Regional Extension Center. My office is literally 15 miles uh, south from here. And this morning, um, welcome to the STSU Northeast Research Farm field tour or the virtual field tour. And hopefully next year by this time, we can again go back to our normal in-person meeting. On the background here, you can see uh, oats, of course, and this is the oat fertility trial. Um, we're trying to test uh, what's the ideal amount of nitrogen we can put down on oats um, without any uh, uh, detrimental effects on the, on the yield. So that means uh, we're trying different rates of nitrogen on these uh, plots. The yellow flags are the plot uh, marks. And then on the sign, you can see um, something like a rate uh, I have here as a 20 pounds. And Palisade, it says yes. What that means is I have a 60 foot long plot and it's split into half. Uh, so there will be a 20 pounds of nitrogen in, uh, in the 60 foot of plot and then um, divide it into half and one half gets the, something called palisade which is a plant growth regulator and helps shorten the plant height hence increasing the standability and then helps with the lodging. So the plot that right behind me is the 20 pounds of uh, nitrogen per acre rate with the palisade applied to it. And then the other side over there, it has again 20 pounds uh, nitrogen per acre rate without any palisade and then there is a height difference to it. Uh, I just pull up, pulled out some samples, a couple of samples from each plot which got the uh, palisade and no palisade. So here's the, you can see some, some sort of difference here about I would say maybe about 10 inches. And this is the third year we are doing this trial. Um, and in addition to this site, I also have uh, four other sites this year. Uh, Southeast Research Farm by Beresford and then other uh, farmer cooperatives field in Brookings County and Buffalo County by the, by the river and Chamberlain area. So we'll try to pull all the data together and see how the nitrogen affects the, affects the yield or what's the optimal amount of nitrogen um, that we have to put down on, on oats to get that best yield without, uh, without applying too much because there is some environmental consequences by applying too much nitrogen on any crop, uh, not only on oats. So there are five rates of nitrogen I have applied here. Uh, of course, there has to be a check all the time. That means zero applied, so there's nothing applied. Uh, and then 20 pounds per acre, 40 pounds per acre, 60 pounds per acre, 100 pounds per acre, and all the way to 140 pounds per acre. And on the top of that, we also have uh, last year's legume credit from soybean and, and some soil uh, residual nitrogen. So zero plot that we didn't apply anything this year has already has about 90 pounds from last year's uh, residual and and then the uh, and then the legume credit for for soybean and uh, of course we haven't harvested this year's crop as you can see uh, but previous uh, few years that we have done uh, we have consistently gotten about 130 bushel plus yield off of these plots and palisade or the plant growth regulator has helped us reduce the height anywhere from six to ten inches and, 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 and significantly helps us in the lodging in case of severe storms and things like that. And then also I want to say something about last year. Um, we all know last year we had a very late planting and after that too much precipitation. So there was uh, some inconsistency in the yield and some of the performance, agronomic performance uh, throughout the year. But I will put uh, with this trial, probably with this video, I'll, I'll make another uh, fact sheet or some kind of results that I want to highlight from last year, uh, which will show the height differences and lodging differences and yield differences that we have gotten of this, uh, from this plot. At this point, we're also still collecting data, but I think about uh, sixth or seventh of a pound uh, per, per bushel of grain would be, would be somewhere in the ideal range. Uh, but we will know more about getting this year's trial done and maybe pulling all the data we have in the last three years and, and get some kind of recommendation out, out there for the oat growers in the uh, state and also in the region, uh, the upper Midwest. And, and all the results of, uh, and any information on this trial and like any other trials we'll have updated on our extension website, extension.sdstate.edu. And if you want to know more and talk personally and feel free to uh, contact Watertown Regional Office uh, or myself on my email or phone. Uh, uh, always, always welcome to share our results, what you have found. Thank you.